Before I invite the boys and girls to come forward, I'm going to ask that when you come forward this morning, if you would sit on the stairs facing out, okay? So I'm going to invite you all to come forward, please. Well, I'm glad to see all of you this morning. And the reason why I wanted you to sit facing out is so you can see when all the adults are going to be standing. And I'm going to show a few things. And if you like it, I want you to stand. And that includes the boys and girls as well, OK? So how many of you like corn? If you like corn, stand up. Oh, I see a few people that don't like corn. OK, we're going to sit down again. How about yuck, asparagus? Oh, a few more people aren't standing. OK, you can all sit down. How about carrots? You like carrots? OK. OK, you can all sit down. Oh, here's one. S- beets. Oh, a lot more people aren't sitting. No. OK, we can sit down one more time. And let's see how many of you like lima beans. Oh, not a lot of people sitting down for that one. Thank you. Well. I wanted to do that to show you that you can't please everyone. No matter what you do, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like something, whether it's lima beans or carrots. And I wanted to also talk to you about this guy. Oh, that's Martin Luther. I once had a bobblehead Batman. It's a bobblehead. Only in America could you get a bobblehead Martin Luther. I know. So let me tell you about Martin Luther. He was a man of great faith. But back then, he lived in the early 1500s, he saw some things going on in the church that he just didn't understand and he didn't like. So he went to a church in Wittenberg, Germany, and he put something on the door. And it had all these questions about things that he thought they were doing wrong in the church. And not everybody liked what he did. In fact, they kicked him out of the church because they didn't like what he did. But Martin Luther didn't care because he knew that God was telling him to do what he did. And that's why we have our church today. We're a Protestant church. And it all goes back to Martin Luther and what he did on October 31st, back in 1517. And I like the story of Martin Luther because it reminds us that whatever we do, we're not going to please everyone. And sometimes we're going to do something that we know God wants us to do, but it might not make others happy. And you know what? God wants us to go ahead and do it anyways. So, for example, there might be somebody at school who nobody likes. And... You feel God telling you to go over and say hi to that person or maybe sit with that person at lunch or play with that person, invite that person to play with everybody during recess. And some people might think, why are you doing that? That's, that's a person. We don't want to have anything to do with that person. But that's not what God wants you to do. God wants you to reach out to that person. And there are other situations where that will happen. And we need to remember that we're never going to make everyone happy, but we can make God happy, and that's what's really important. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for vegetables and lima beans and all those things that maybe we don't like, but somebody else likes. And we know, God, that sometimes people aren't going to understand why we're doing what we're doing, but we know we're doing it because it's what you want us to do. So help us to always do that and show our love for you by loving others. Amen. Thank you.